Rowe is with us, Republican from Tennessee and a doctor in and of your own right. Is that not correct, sir? That's correct. 31 years. Okay. Look, if Obamacare is collapsing, there's no fix that's going to come along right after the election. So what does a collapsing health care insurance system look like for the average person on the street? Well, what happens is for those in the private insurance market or that have Medicare now, they're, they're doing fairly well. It's the small group and individual market that's really collapsing. And what collapsing means, Stuart, is, is that the premiums have gotten totally out of control. In our state of Tennessee, Blue Cross and Blue Shield was given a 62% increase, and they pulled out of Memphis, Nashville, and Chattanooga, the three largest markets in the state, leaving 130,000 people uninsured. So that's the, that's the face of collapse. That's the face You're of collapse. You're uninsured. And then what we do, what's even worse, then we fine you when you have only one option. And remember that the, uh, the uh, Clinton, the ACA plan, the Affordable Care Act, wanted a public option so that there was a government option. Well, they did that. They, called, they were called uh, co-ops, and they put 23 of them up. One of them is in my state of Tennessee. 17 of them are bankrupt, $2 billion gone. The six that are left are on the way out. So the face of collapse is what you're talking about. That's correct. No insurance. And you're fined because you don't have insurance. Donnie, I found that the most appalling thing of all is that we tell you what to buy. In other words, the 10 essential health benefits. The government now tells Stuart Varney what to buy, not what you need and what you can afford. And then when you can't afford it, we fine you. Well, there's no solution, is there? There is a solution. Well, it's yes. called an election, and we need to change people <laughs> okay. at the top of okay. the Okay, let's suppose that Donald Trump is elected president of the United States. He wants to repeal and replace Obamacare. You can't do that for at least a year. You can't do that. That's I mean, correct. You're already, you, what, what, so people understand this. It would have to be an off-ramp. You have to have a way off of the current system. And that's going to take a year to two years to do. Right. Because the individual and small group market's been literally destroyed, leveled by this. Uh, so regardless this, of who wins the election, you've got what happens to those hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people who are really messed up? I think you do away with the fine. Uh, um, uh, in other words, you could do that quickly. Absolutely. You can do that. So you don't penalize people at, of something they can't afford and find them for it. I find that amazing that we do that in this country. And look, we hear about this business about Republicans don't have any ideas. I have helped write the Republican alternative. I did that for the Republican Study Committee. It's a 193-page okay. bill. Can you give it to us in a nutshell? Very you quickly. Got, give it to me 20 seconds. What you do is you let a people buy insurance across the state line. You let association health plans for low-income people. You do an, uh, a, an advanced refundable tax tax credit, you do malpractice reform, and there are many other things we can do also. You know, the last one is the, surely the best one, malpractice reform. I mean, if you could really get a handle on these lawsuits that seem to, well, you're a doctor, you know what your insurance is to guard against attacking lawyers. I'm actually worse than that. I'm an obstetrician. <laughs> we have some of the oh. highest <laughs> premiums in the world. So yes, you do. in the state of Tennessee, we did malpractice reform. In the first two years, it saved $100 million in a small state, and it did not not affect the quality of care of patients whatsoever. No wonder lawyers back Democrats, but I digress. I digress. <laughs> You're also a veteran, I know that. Yeah, I am. What do you think of the Pentagon demanding the return of bonuses issued to soldiers who went to fight in Afghanistan and Iraq 10 years ago? What quick, do you make of that? Quick, quick, uh, I've been deployed. We make this right. That's ridiculous. And when we get back after the election, I think Republicans and Democrats make this right. These were heroes that went to serve our country. It is absurd that they're now asking to get this money back. You think the Democrats would do that? I think they better. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> That's not the same. <laughs> Doctor, it was a pleasure having you on the show. You can come again anytime soon. Thanks, sir. Do you often come to New York? Oh, we get here occasionally, a couple of times a year. Well, don't be such a stranger in the future, okay? okay? Thank you. Nice <laughs> to see you, sir. Thank you.